Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, publisher of PhotoFocus, and I wanted to show you the new masking tools you'll find inside of Adobe Camera Raw, Lightroom, and Photoshop. Just choose the new masking category. These tools combine a lot of great things that you'll find in previous versions, but build upon them and make them easier. For example, let's start with a simple one here, select subject. With one click, it's able to choose our subject very easily. Now what we can do is easily enhance this area. For example, I want to bring out our jellyfish a little bit here. And what this allows me to do is easily add in contrast. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that select subject wasn't perfect. It was great, but it didn't do everything we wanted here. Well, in this case, we can choose to show the overlay and make this a little bit simpler. Now what I'm going to do is combine this here by subtracting. And I'm going to use a color range mask to subtract. What I can now do is click on the area that I want. And you see that it starts to build upon that selection, which is really cool. If I hold down the shift key, I can click and add to that color range mask and just keep building up. For example, notice here by shift clicking on some of the more translucent areas of the jellyfish's legs, I'm able to subtract those. And I'll come over here and just click a few more places to clean up the blue. That worked great. Now I really have a great selection. And you've noticed there, we've been able to take two masks and combine them together to make a new mask. Well, this works well, and I suggest you actually rename these. For example, let's call this mask jellyfish so it's easier to find in the future. Now I could simply really go to work here. I'm going to uncheck show the overlay just to make that a bit simpler to work with. And by refining this here, we can really dial in what we want. For example, I can separately color balance that to create better separation of our subject or add texture and clarity just to lift it out a little bit. And I like how that's cutting. Now what I want to do is reuse this mask, but actually use the opposite of it. So I'll simply duplicate the jellyfish mask, and we can rename that. And I'll call this water. Now, you might be wondering, it's not exactly water yet, but with a simple click, we can choose to look at this here. And you see we have the ability to intersect, duplicate, hide, rename, etc. Or what we can do is actually change this around. So if we start to modify here, you'll notice we can invert these two masks. And now we have the area of the water, which is cool. And if I want to, I could choose add. And I'm going to tell it to add with color range here and just shift click on the water to choose more of the water that I want added. And notice what a great job it does of cleaning that up. So you can actually build these masks together. Now I can refine the water just a little bit. Let's, for example, tweak the color temperature of the water, making it a little bluer and just finesse that. I'm going to go with negative texture to actually soften it up a bit, give it more of a dreamy quality. And I really like how that's coming together. Let's play with the highlights there and recover that overexposed area to the left of the jellyfish, which is quite nice. Now with hue, we can just refine slightly. You see here, this is doing pretty aggressive, but we can dial that in for just a subtle shift if we'd like, and even tone it down. Notice how flexible this is as you fine tune things, allowing you to really draw it into the area that you want. All right, I think that actually looks better there, a touch more saturation and just pulled it down. And I'm going to reduce the clarity and negative dehaze there until we really get good separation. I like that. Now we still have full control over the image itself. So I can go back and make any other changes. For example, with the color grading tool here, I'm just going to warm up the highlights a little bit, put a little bit more golden light in those, and then cool down the midtones. And let's just finish this off with a gentle vignette. There we go. And that really finesses it. If we take a look at that side by side, while subtle, 
It's a very natural adjustment, and the ability to target the area and make a precise selection really let us refine the jellyfish and then flip it to better define the water. All of this is done right within Camera Raw thanks to powerful new selection tools. All right, that's just getting started. Be sure to check out some of the more in-depth tutorials to see more of what's possible with the new Adobe Camera Raw.